Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your very first time. You picked the perfect time to start watching. My name is September Story, and you are watching me stamp the same thing, I think, three times in a row. So, enjoy that. <laughs> That's how we're starting today. It's a little bit of a rough beginning, but I think it turned out really nicely in the end. So, I hope you enjoy this. For 2022, I decided to start doing something called the word of the month. So each month, I am going to choose a word, or I have chosen several words so far, that I will use to base my aesthetic or aesthetics off each month. So this month, the word is fascicles. And it is a word that I had never heard of before, but is surprisingly helpful in figuring out aesthetics for the month. So as you can see, I'm working on the cover spread and that is the thing that I stamped like three different times, but we're making it work. It is happening and I'm finally using the vellum paper and I think it worked out nicely. So let's get into what the word actually means so you can understand why I am decorating the bullet journal the way that I am. So I saw it as fascicle, fascicles, I don't know, it's a thing. So it's basically bundles, bundles of structures. The official definition in Merriam-Webster is one, a small or slender bundle as of pine needles or nerve fibers, and two, one of the divisions of a book published in parts. I think dictionary.com used as an example, nerve or muscle fibers or conducting vessels in plants. So I thought it was really cool the, the different definitions of different kinds of bundles and how it covered both like anatomy and biology as well as just nature in general. And I was like, the definition and examples from this word lend itself to so many different kinds of aesthetics. So I ran with it. With this first spread, I tried to encompass the different aesthetics that I use in the different spreads. And yeah, I'm probably gonna use the word aesthetic a thousand more times in this video. That's just where we're at right now. <laughs> but I just love the contrast between nature and biology. And I just thought it was really cool. So we've got, you know, moths and butterflies. I purchased some uh, printables off of Etsy of different parts of anatomy. And I will link those printables down below in the description along with many of the other supplies that I use in this video. And of course now I am writing out the definition of the word that I just read to you. It turns out the word fascicle or fascicles is related to a whole bundle of other words. I also thought it'd be cool to include some of this book paper that I've been holding on to for years. So I looked at Merriam-Webster, of course, and Edim Online. Yes, that's what it is. And they both talked about where the word came from and all that stuff. But uh, one said that it's been part of our language since the 15th century. And the other one said it comes from the Latin word fasces. Is it fasces or fasces? I don't know. This one says it comes from that word from the 1590s, which means a bundle of rods containing an ax with the blade projecting. That's very specific. As you can see, we are in the calendar and I keep looking back at the cover spread at the little sticker that's a calendar for reference. And this spread is going to look quite a bit different from the other one. I, in a way, it's a little more minimal. Um, it's definitely more colorful. Anyways, but you can see that. I thought that those Paper Studio brand decorative tapes were perfect for this month's uh, word of the month and I'm making a little section for my goals. And to continue about the word fascicles, another group of words that go along with it is, uh, according to Merriam-Webster, in book publishing, fascicle and its variants fascicule and fasciculus can all be used for one of the installments of a voluminous work. I am trying something different this month. I am always trying to figure out, should I work on YouTube or should I work on writing or whatever? And usually YouTube or Instagram wins out and I need to sit down and write. So what I'm trying to do 
is alternate weeks where one week is writing, one week is YouTube and social media focused, and then, you know, back and forth. That way I won't have to be like sitting around doing nothing thinking what, which thing should I do? I can be like, hey, I'm going to do the thing that I'm supposed to do this week. It's writing week or it's YouTube content creation week. I'll focus on that. I am in love with this spread as well. I mean, honestly, I love them all this month. I, they were just, it, some months are just like, just trying to plow through a bog. But this month, I don't know, it was it was just really good. It, was, it felt really good, you know, creative wise. But this spread is more focused on the anatomy side of the word. Fascinating. And <laughs> I was trying to decide what paper to use and I asked a friend and they recommended the, the red one with the white leaves on it. And I just thought that was really cool because I have the anatomy, like you have the eye and the arm and there's even a foot on here. <laughs> but in the background, the paper, it's still nature inspired, like it's leaves, but it, it looks like kind of anatomy as well. And here I'm using my really cool stamp. I love that stamp. I love like library stamps. I miss library stamps. Heck, I miss libraries. I probably should go to one. I haven't been to one in a long time. But maybe if they still use the stamps, I would be more likely to go because I love stamps. Does anyone have like a comfort thing that they do in their bullet journal? Like here, example. I love doing the little drop shadows for boxes. It's just, it's just a fun little touch. And it just, I just, I don't know. I just love it. Is there a particular thing that you like to do in your bullet journal that it's just kind of a thing you always come back to or you frequently come back to? And there's a couple other borders that I like to do when I'm not sure what kind of border to put on or something like that. And I'm just like, this is a border that I just love. <laughs> so the sticker at the top will have my like basic habit trackers and then on the bottom you can see my exercise reading and writing logs so i can keep track of not just if i read or if i wrote or whatever but like what i did specifically now on to the content creation spread so i've got my goals up at the top i'm gonna have a couple little trackers or logs whatever honestly sometimes i forget the difference my instagram growth youtube growth my to-do list and you may notice I always put a sticky note on each spread to kind of outline to myself what I want to do with that spread. So I have the feather washi tape, which to me, it just felt right for the this word. Fascicles, you know, bundles of fibers or structures or whatever. And I felt like feathers fit that description. And then of course we've got some butterflies. And then back to educating you on this wonderful word. Fasciitis is an inflammation of the fascia, which is a sheet of tissue connecting muscles. So that is also a word related to fascicles. And now I have to always say fascicles. I can never say it normal. So you will never hear me say it normally. Watch me say it normally next clip or something. Anyways, on the right hand side, I have kind of a list calendar and yeah. And then you're gonna see another drop shadow because I got really excited about drop shadows this month. <laughs> As I was making this spread, I realized I have a spread for YouTube and uh, content creation. And I have two weeks in the month specifically for those things. I should also have a spread for writing. So I made a spread for writing, but you will not see it in this video. So if you want to see me planning out my writing spread, you will need to follow me on Instagram, people. And someday soon, I will be posting either a reel or a video, I don't know how long it'll be, of me doing my writing spread. So I'm very excited about that, and I hope that you will follow me on Instagram. It's September Story, just like my channel here. So check it out. Another thing that Merriam-Webster says is that you can also have a case of fasciculation or muscular twitching <laughs> that's sexy right there <laughs> i'm in a mood today guys i don't know what's going on on a different topic um writing out john chapter 15 verses 4 through 5 in the esv abide in me and i in you 
As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Turns out there's quite a bit more that you can learn about this word fascicle, fascicles, whatever. So I suggest looking it up for yourself and you know, feel free to share in the comments below what you learn. So here we are at the flip through. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed um, watching the creation of these spreads. I hope that they inspire you in your own uh, bullet journaling or whatever creative endeavors that you partake in. Please comment down below your thoughts and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.